Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing how Kate Winslet is starring in a movie about OneCoin. Even though the well-known OneCoin Ponzi scheme is still being processed through the courts, a movie on how this project came to be in development, and not only that, but a lead star from the movie Titanic. As reported by Deadline, a famous Hollywood actress Kate Winslet has signed on to both star and produce Fake, a movie based on the unpublished book written by Jen McAdam and Douglas Thompson. McAdam, as a writer of this book and a victim of the OneCoin scheme, will produce the film. Fake will be written as well as directed by Scott C. Burns, the man who helmed The Report, a political drama that was based on the CIA's report of torture after 9-11, and he is also known for writing the 2011 pandemic movie Contagion. Kate Winslet also starred in this. OneCoin was founded in 2014 during the expansion of the crypto industry. It was created by Ruja Ignatova in Bulgaria. The project followed the typical structure of a multi-level Ponzi marketing scheme, but had a cryptocurrency twist. It was promised that OneCoin is the next Bitcoin, even though it wasn't backed by a blockchain or a decentralized network. Despite several warnings coming from the crypto industry insiders and government agency, OneCoin became one of the most popular projects, fostering an us versus them mentality. Even after OneCoin failed, it left the market with several clones, which did pretty much the same thing it did, but with a twist here or there. McAdam, who started up a support group for numerous OneCoin victims, said that she and both of her friends and family invested and lost over 250,000 euros, equating to around $300,000 before she learned that its server was not even blockchain and that it was all a scam. Ignatova was charged with multiple charges including wire fraud, securities fraud as well as money laundering on May the 7th of this year, but she has not been seen ever since 2017. Her brother Konstantin Ignatova, an executive in OneCoin, was also charged with the same in March of this year. He has since agreed to testify against his sister on the matter. Defrauded investors have sued OneCoin, alleging losses of up to $5 billion. The movie Fake is not the first artwork inspired by the OneCoin Ponzi scheme. A TV show coming out on the British Broadcasting Corporation, the BBC, about Ignatova and OneCoin is also in development. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.